Dexie the Determined Dragon by Gemma Bond Illustrated by Joe Blake Dexie the Mystical Dragon is the creature we most admire. She's always helping her friends with her dragon's breath of fire. The lovely squirrel family, shivering and trying to cope, see Dexie walk on over, and now they are full of hope. Oh, please, Dexie, light our fire. It's so awfully cold in here. As Dexie blows her giant flame, she tells them to stand clear. Wow, Dexie, you are the best. Thank you so much for your care. You have made our day happy. There is magic in the air. Dexie is now flying. She sees Wilbur scratch his head. Hi there, Wilbur. Are you okay? She senses Wilbur's dread. Hello, Dexie. I'm not okay. My heart's begun to ache. It's our annual warrus party, and we can't light the cake. Dexie takes a deep breath in and blows a lively flame. Thank goodness the candles are lit. We are so glad you came. Dexie is so happy always there to help her friends. She really doesn't mind the amount of time she spends. Up ahead she notices Pearl the polar bear. She sighs and looks bemused. Dexie's nostrils begin to flare. Hey Pearl, what is wrong? Oh Dexie, my bike is stuck. I can't untie the rope from it. Today I have no luck. This is no problem for Dexie. In a second I'll burn it free. Dexie opens her mouth to breathe fire, but there's no fire to be seen. Hold on, Pearl. I will try again. It will work this time, I'm sure. She gives the biggest puff she can, but her fire is no more. Instantly, Dexie's face falls. She walks off with head hanging down. I don't understand what's happened. She gives a discouraged frown. She slumps against the cold rock, tears rolling down her cheeks. I can't help my friend at all. Her day is looking bleak. Dexie, Dexie, how are you? Says a happy and joyful tone. It's Ocean, the sparkly unicorn. Dexie can only groan. I have lost my fire, Ocean. It has disappeared somehow. I've repeatedly huffed and blown. Dexie's head is lower now. Oh, Dexie, this is so sad. There must be something we can do. Wait, I have a brilliant idea. It's my turn to help you. Follow me now, Dexie. There is someone you must meet. So she gets up to follow, with heavy, leaden feet. Arriving at a cave, sparkling crystals all around. A door creaks and opens. A special magic has been found. Standing there is a wizard, who is dressed in sparkling blue. Oh, welcome, Dragon Dexie. Now what can I do for you? Dexie tells the mystery of her fire that is no more. The wizard presents a book. Inside there are spells galore. First we need some elements. On Dexie all will be poured. We need love, joy and belief to discover our reward. Ocean knows what her gift is. She gives joy straight away. Squirrel family hears the news and gives belief to save the day. What is left? The wizard said. But love to make Dexie strong. Wilbur the walrus is next. His bright love rights every wrong. The spell is complete, dear Dexie. Your friends have helped you now. You've done so much for them. Then they hear a soft meow. Dexie, please could you help me? Says little Cosmo Cat. My paws have frozen up. Dexie gives him a gentle pat. Dexie takes a deep breath in then gives the biggest blow. To start, there is a small flame, so she'll give it another go. Dexie does not give up. She tries the puff once more. She uses all the strength she has and gives out a huge roar. Dexie, you can do this. We all believe in you. Suddenly, the flames appear and the ice melts right through. In Dexie's relief so sweet, she remembered Pearl, her friend. Away she flew to save the day. On Dexie you can depend. Pearl, with her bike still tied, struggles to break it free. Dexie said, I have returned, and she burns the rope quickly. Dexie the mystical dragon, the creature we most admire, helps her friends out of trouble, and they help regain her fire. The End